Everybody, this is Fabian for Liberty reporting on the breaking news of this uh, shooting rampage that took place in LAX. Look, if you've followed my videos for some time, you know that I have never in any mass shooting come out and said, um, come out immediately at least, and said, this is a staged false flag attack. Know the facts, know what's going on. But I'll tell you what, my gut instinct right now is, or, or better yet, my spider sense right now is tingling in an, uh, an uncontrollable fashion. Um, and I believe, just based on my gut, these are exactly the type of events that are staged based on all the abundance, so far at least, of the evidence that's pouring out and coming out. First off, this guy, this 23-year-old, now identified as Paul Anthony Ciencia from New Jersey, which there, there's all kinds of Facebook postings out there saying this guy or people with this name saying, no, it's not me. Already they've come out and they've said that in his um, automobile, in his possession, he had all kinds of anti-government documents and materials. Now that to me, right off the bat, is, is a problem, for me at least. It is something that's quite a concern because remember, look, I, I look, people think this is crazy. Um, I think m many of you watching have a, have a knowledge of false flag history, know this has happened time and time before. I have absolutely no doubt about it that government will stage attacks like they did Fast and Furious, will stage attacks to blame it on the Second Amendment, take away guns, arm TSA agents, which I can guarantee you, you'll start to, start to hear from the authoritarians that, hey, the TSA agents not only need to be in airports, but they should be in malls because we need to avoid a Kenya-style attack, but we need to have them armed. That's the game plan, ladies and gentlemen. They want the armed Gestapo in every shopping center, in every bus stop, in every U.S., you know, in every um, airport, uh, at every, every, pretty much every sports event, everything. They're already at sports events. They're already at big political-type rallies, Okay. Arming them and having them now in every basically, you know, civic arena, civic area is the next step, okay? The other buzzword, of course, that they're using, just like they did for the Navy Yard shooting, where they said he had a assault rifle. Well, I didn't hear any retractions from the mainstream media when it was uh, later revealed he didn't have an assault rifle. And furthermore, there is no such thing as an assault rifle, okay? An assault, it's like, you know, if I beat you over the head with this phone. Is this an assault phone? Of course not. It's ridiculous, okay? Look at all the stabbing murders that happen everywhere. They banned guns in London and, and uh, or in England and, and uh, uh, violent crime uh, absolutely surges, okay? California, one of the states that has the most, it has, you know, Feinstein and all these other unconstitutional, treasonous gun grabbers. One of the most strictest gun anti-gun policies you can think of, yet all the violent criminals have guns, and you still have these events take place, okay? So, I gotta tell you, just like the Navy Yard shooting where they said it was assault rifles later, it's revealed he only had a shotgun um, and a handgun, right again here they're saying high-powered rifle, but it's an assault rifle. Already the media, the radical left, they're all coming out saying we need to ban guns. Obama saying we need to ban guns. Obama saying that we need to, you know, take away guns from legal legal owners when on record about 6,080 times a day. Guns are used and in an overwhelming majority of time, around 97% of the time, okay, you have legal gun owners using their guns to defend themselves against thugs and criminals. But they want to take the guns away from those of us that own them legally so that the thugs, i.e. the TSA agents, can rule the day. Now listen, my heart goes out to this TSA agent that's died and his family. He will be in my prayers. Of course, nobody deserves to be shot. And of course, anyone in the liberty movement or anybody that truly is part of the liberty movement or understands the criminality of our government that uses violence, I'm 100% against that, okay? But I'll tell you, that's not going to stop me from saying, look, the TSA is committing open acts of treason, all right? They're patting you down. They're groping your wife. They're groping your little children. It's absolutely criminal. These people should, you know, if they weren't working as TSA agents, it would be 
basically working at McDonald's or at Taco Bell. And there's nothing wrong with working at those places. I'm just saying that's the caliber of people they're hiring. In every tyrannical society, they always hire people that are the dumbed down, the people that are barely getting by, the people that otherwise couldn't make it, because it's the criminals they always use to enforce their criminality, okay? I got to tell you, this really works me up because, you know... As someone who's doing these videos, obviously putting my name out there, putting myself out there, I fully recognize that the government is looking for any dissent. And they will stage attacks, they will stage events. I think this is a stage event. I could be totally wrong. Like I've always said, never take my word for anything. Do your own research. But my own personal feeling, my own gut tells me they are going to stage events to blame it on the Second Amendment, Blame it on the Tea Party, blame it on Ron Paul supporters, blame it on libertarians, blame it on people who are against abortion, against illegal immigration, because that's the only chance that they have of trying to win this epic battle that we are in. I'm Fabian for Liberty. Thanks for watching. I'm out.